This is a 2019 KCSE number 24. We are told the equation of a curve is y is equals to x cubed uh, plus x squared minus x minus 1. Part A determine the stationary points of the curve. So this is a cubic uh, function. Uh, the, the turning point or stationary point are the turning points of a curve. And that is we can say uh, the turning point at that point this is a turning point or it could be in that of that form now the tangent is a at the turning point is a line parallel to the x-axis which, which means that its gradient is equals to zero so if we get the gradient of this uh, function and we equate to zero we will be able to get the turning point so the gradient we say we, we differentiate is dy dx is equals to this will be 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. And since we are saying that the gradient is equal to 0 at the turning point, then what it means is that we equate this to 0. This is a quadratic uh, equation. And when you factor out, we factorize it, you will be able to get uh, 3x minus 1. These are the factors of this equation. Uh, x plus 1 uh, is equals to 0 uh, I hope you, you you know how to factorize you have already covered that in quadratics uh, in form 3 so or in uh, the quadratic topic so this means that x is equals to uh, a third or minus 1 so these are the turning points these are the turning points of the curve y is equals to x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1. So I hope you have followed that. But by Roman number 2, we are told uh, the nature of the stationary points. The nature of the stationary points means that uh, uh, we have minima and maxima. So maxima is when the turning point is of that, uh, in the, of that nature. This is a turning point. And minima is when the, the turning point is of uh, that nature that is upwards and downwards uh, for us to determine the, the the nature of the stationary points uh, we check with the gradient we already have the gradient of the curve now you know uh, when the when the when the turning point is maxima the gradient to the left side of the of the turning point is positive and uh, the one at the right is negative minima the gradient is uh, negative on the right side and and positive on the other side so we check with the with the with the gradient so let's check when x is equals to minus one what is the gradient the the point that is uh, 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 that is on the left side of the minus one is minus two uh, so we check x is equals to minus two was a gradient at x is equals to minus 2 our gradient is this so 3 x squared so we we substitute so we say it is 3 uh, into bracket minus 2 squared uh, then we have plus 2 times minus 2 then minus uh, 1 that when you compute this is uh, 4 4 times 3 is 12 uh, 12 plus minus 4 that is uh, minus the 8 8 minus 1 is 7 so the gradient is positive which we can note uh, that uh, it looks like uh, that is positive like that we know the turning point gradient is 0 so we have like that so that the point that is to the right of minus uh, 1 is 0 so we check with x is equals to uh, a 0 we substitute we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, we substitute 3 times 0 3 times 0 uh, plus 2 times 0 uh, minus 1 this will give you minus 1 this means uh, at x is equals to 0 the gradient is negative and the gradient is negative when it is like that so you can see now what we have obtained is uh, a curve turned, turned uh, upside down so this is what we call uh, maxima so that is the nature of the point at x is equals to minus one we come to the other point 
that is uh, x is equals to that is a turning point of uh, x is equals to a third the turning point so the point at the right uh, left hand side uh, left side of the other is zero so we take x is equals to zero and we substitute uh we'll find that uh, just like we have found in the, in the, this part that uh, that is three times zero uh, squared plus two times zero minus one is equal to minus one so the gradient is negative so its nature is of that form at turning point the gradient is zero so it is a parallel line to the x-axis then we take a point to the right of a third we can say x is equals to one so if you substitute this will give you three times one squared uh, plus two times one uh, minus one so this will give you uh, this is a three plus two that is five minus one is equals to four so the gradient at x is equals to uh, one is is neg is uh, positive so its shape is like that so this is a minima mini minima uh, point uh, so nature of the point is minima so that is how you determine the nature of uh, the turning point part b uh, roman number one we are told uh, determine the equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equals to 1 uh, so at x is equals to 1 the equation uh, of the tangent uh, touching uh, the curve at x is equals to 1 so what we do here is that uh, we know the gradient that is dy over dx is equals to uh, 3x uh, squared minus 2x that is plus 2x minus 1 and therefore at x is equals to 1 we substitute to get the gradient so dy dx is the same as a gradient gradient is uh, 3 times 1 squared uh, plus 2 that is uh, uh, 2 5, 5 minus 1 gradient is equals to 4 uh, at x is equals to to 1 we get the value of y so this will be from the function that is uh, 1 cubed uh, plus 1 squared minus x minus not minus x but minus 1 because that is the value of that is the value of x uh, then we have uh, minus 1 this will give you y is equals to 0 uh, so the point uh, is uh, x is 1 and uh, y is 0 so we have the now we now have the, the one point and the gradient of the tangent so we can get the equation and say y minus 0 divided by x minus 1 is equals to 4 and this will give you y is equals to uh, 4x minus 4 so that is a that is equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equals to uh, 1 and you get yourself 3 marks b part uh, 2 we are told the equation of the normal to the curve at x is equals to 1 the the normal means a line that is perpendicular to the tangent at x is equals to uh, 1 we already got the tangent at x is equals to 1 is equals to 4 and the product of a uh, gradient of two lines which are perpendicular always gives you minus one so it means the gradient of this other, other line is minus a quarter minus a quarter because when you multiply a minus a quarter times four you get minus one uh, thereafter we have now we have one point we are we also have the point uh one point x is equals to one we have already gotten is one zero so the value of y is zero so we now have the gradient and we have uh, one point and therefore uh, the equation we can say y minus uh, zero uh, divided by x minus one is equals to minus a quarter uh, so when you work it out you get a y is equals to minus a quarter x uh, minus a, uh, that is this will be plus uh, a quarter so that is a question of the normal to the curve 
at x is equals to uh, 1. So I hope you have followed what we have uh, done. Uh, you can watch more of this. This is from um, uh, that, that is a differentiation application. Uh, so I hope you have uh, understood how we have gone about it.